Okay, guys, so welcome back to uh, my new segment, my relatively new segment of uh, Who Would Could Train Who, or whatever the hell I'm calling it. Basically, where I take a one series of characters and talk about what characters, other characters, could train these heroes, or, uh, or uh, as such. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm going to be talking about the Miraculous Holders. Now, obviously, I, I'm going to be talking about a lot of them, because the, in the recent episodes, they've had a lot of new Miraculous Holders. So, yeah. So, this, is, this might be a long one. Anyway, so let's get started. Without further ado, let's talk about uh, Ladybug. Who, would Mar who could train Marinette the best? Honestly, I could see someone... Um, I could see someone... I think what she needs is a firm hand, but someone who can be friendly with her. I, I think she needs a teacher who can be firm, yet fair, and easy with her. And can be, you know, easy going with her when the, when the situation calls for it. Something along the lines of Master Fu. So, I think the best person who could probably train her would more than likely be... I would say, um, I think the person who would probably be best suited to train her is Korra, uh, from, of course, Legend of Korra. I think Korra, who's still kind of used, uh, who's still trying to get used to the idea of being, like, a, a teacher, like she was with Opal, but I think she'd be old enough and kind of pass on that wisdom to, La uh, to Marinette and be like, hey, you know, I was a failure, I fucked up, did you see the damage I did? Uh, yeah, so I think she'd be like, you're going to fail a lot, but it's important to go through those failures and rise above it. So I think that'd be Korra training her. I also think it'd be kind of fun for Korra, since she obviously can't bend, um, I think it would be kind of cool if um, Korra at least taught uh, Marinette like the style, like the um, stances and styles of each uh, of the four nations, like how she fights, like her stances and form can go from water bend, like how she you would water bend to how you would fire bend, and just y incorporate those kind of styles in like a new fo a fighting style. So I think Korra would be probably be the best bet for Marinette. I think I just rhymed. Anyway, let's move on to Adrian. Now Adrian, I think needs a teacher who can keep him focused. I think he needs a teacher who can be, you know who can be also very much like Mar uh, Marinette's teacher. Who could, t yeah, so who could teach, um, who could be a good teacher for, um, for, uh, Cat Noir? I think, honestly, Kanan, uh, Kanan Jarrus from Star Wars Clone War, uh, excuse me, Star Wars Rebels. Kanan, I think, would be a firm leader, but uh, I think a firm teacher, but at the same time, I think he would also train uh, Adrian to kind of hone himself and hone his senses, I think that would probably be for the best. And also, not so much depend on cataclysm every second. Like, you know, you can't just cataclysm your way and make yourself useless in the, you know, in the moment. There's a n moment for cataclysm a few times, but, you know, you, you know, you just fall on cataclysm every time. So, he would probably teach Adrian to, like, think out a situation. Um, so yeah, Kanan, I think, would be a good pick for him. Moving on now to Chloe. So, yeah, I'm uh, moving on to Chloe next. Surprise. Uh, so who would be a good teacher for for Queen Bee? I think um, the best person for Chloe would probably be someone who could be tough with her and not take any of her shit. So if you can guess who that's going to be, that'd be none other than Aizawa. <laughs> yeah, Aizawa would put her through the ringer. Oh, my God. He would not stand for any of Chloe's BS because... Chloe, she clearly wants to be a good person. She clearly wants to do good, but she kind of still needs some breaking in. And I don't mean that as a derogatory. I mean that as she's still, well, Chloe. She's still Chloe a few times, but she did fight off Hop Moth's influence, and I think Aizawa would see that. But yeah, Aizawa would not be would not be kind to Chloe. He would not put up with any of her bullshit. But I think he would train her. Um, I think he would train her to be, you know, stronger and depend more on herself, you know, to be selfless, you know, give her a lot of the hero, uh, of the real hero stuff. So yeah, I think Aizawa, yeah, because Chloe needs someone who won't take her shit as a, you know, someone who has to be firm and hard with her when the situation calls for it during the training. So Aizawa, um, from of course My Hero Academia, you all knew that, never mind. So. Uh, moving on now to Alia. Who would be Alia's teacher? I think Alia 
would probably benefit from a teacher who could um, teach her not to depend so much on her illusions and be more of a physical fighter. Not to say she isn't already, but I think would be interesting is to have that um, she would need a teacher who could help her on a physical level, like someone who could uh, teach her on on certain you know on certain techniques and certain of certain fighting styles. So. The teacher I think would be best suited for that would probably be, uh, this might come as a shock to some of you, but I think she would benefit a lot from Snake Eyes. I think she would benefit from Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. Um, Snake Eyes is definitely gonna do a lot of the ninja stuff with her and pass that along to Reyna, um, to Alia, of course, Reyna Rouge, and of course you all knew that, but yeah. He would pass, uh, pass along that also that need to, you know, use that use your ability and use it not like as a crutch, much like how um, Kanan would teach uh, would teach uh, Adrian not to use Cataclysm as like a crutch. You know, you you know, she would be the illusion. She would be the person who would be stalking in the shadows now. So I think Snake Eyes would probably be a good teacher for her. Now let's move on to Nino. Nino needs a teacher who also won't take his BS. And probably someone who would probably be along the lines of... Um, I think it would be kind of fun to see him learn from... Uh, I was going to say, I think he would benefit best from Guy Gardner, the Green Lantern, yeah. Guy would... I would love to see Adrian, like... Excuse me, not Adrian, uh, Nino who would, like, uh, use his shield and all that and be like, what, who the hell do you think you are, Captain America? Do that shit again. Like, he would just put him through the ringer, but at the same time, I think he would get cut Nino slack when he needed to. I also think that he would teach, like, um... He would also teach uh, Nino, like, some more, like, self-defensive moves with the shield. Um, if not Guy, uh, probably a better one would be, like... Possibly, I think Nino would probably also learn uh, a few things from John Walker, aka the U.S. agent. Uh, if only to learn some shield tricks he learned from uh, Taskmaster. So our next one is Pegasus, uh, Max's uh, Max's superhero identity, and that person I think could probably teach him. Like I think he needs a, a teacher who can you know use uh, who can use both logic and, um, you know, some physicality to him. And I think that person who could teach him is uh, probably Barry. I think Barry would be a good teacher for him because I think he'd be like, look, dude, that teleportation stuff only goes so far, and it's good to use your brain, and I want to see you use it more. Um, but you're also going to need to learn to fight when the time comes. You know, you can't just go boom, out, uh, you know, out, all of that. For Luca, um, I think Luca would probably benefit from, again, another teacher who could teach him, hey, that ring thing, yeah, that, that, that's gonna, you know, you need to stop with that. You need someone who can, you need a teacher like, um, I think Iroh would be a good teacher for, Lu for Luca. If only to teach him some more, phys like some more hand-to-hand -hand combat, or better yet, I think Daredevil would pro Matt would probably be like a hard teacher for him. And every time, like he would, uh, like um, Luca would go to you know rewind time, like Matt would just throw the Billy Club and be like, "That's not what we're doing here. You're gonna learn how to fight, so that becomes a last resort. Don't you know you can use it, but don't you you know don't use it at nauseum." You see the the thing I'm trying to convey here in this whole video is these guys kind of use their abil their powers without kind of uh, giving it a lot of attention or a lot of thought um, as to the consequences. So King, uh, so next up is Kim, or as King Monkey, as he's known, since he has the monkey real uh, the monkey miraculous. I think the teacher who could probably uh, teach him would probably be someone like Gran Torino, because I think Kim needs a lot of focus, uh, because he's just too wild, um, and just too playful. I think Gran Torino would whip him, whip his ass into shape. And then we come to Kagami, who is now, uh, I forget her name, Ryoko? I think that's her, dra the, the owner of the Dragon Miraculous. 
she would probably benefit from um, from I would say someone like Hardmaster, who was Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow's teacher, or someone who can be... I think she could take that level of strictness. I think she could be able to take that level of strictness and hardness. But I think the best one, now that I think about it, would be Splinter. I think she would be an excellent student for Master Splinter. Um, and I think he would. she would already apply, already apply what her mother taught her and move on to and kind of apply that with Splinter, who would kind of break down that training and rebuild her again. So I think Splinter, or hard, or Stick, you know, Stick or Splinter would probably be Kagami's best teachers, but you guys tell me in the comments below, who do you think would be good teachers for the Miraculous Holders? Uh, just comment below, let me know, and yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later.